The issue about talent in Toronto and Canada is that there's not enough. There's no borders to talent and intelligence and hard work. And there's no need for Canadian organizations to limit themselves to only working and finding people within Canada. And so Global Skills Hub is continuing in that mission to help find and bring talented, courageous people from around the world to work and live in Canada and continue that growth and success. I want to talk about one individual candidate that uh, was our first candidate that joined us through Global Skills Hub. Uh, her name is Hafsa. I'm from Pakistan, majorly been in Lahore. The day I came to Toronto downtown, I had no idea Toronto was so metro. Even the faces, the looks, the buildings, everything is so different. Such a perfect blend. In Pakistan, everybody has a weird idea that things are very different over here. Nobody can blend in. Their work is very different, you won't be able to understand. Even I used to think like that. But if I don't do it now, I'm going to regret forever. I don't want to be a person who never took the leap. There's something really different about the Canadian tech ecosystem right now. It's poised, you know, to really become one of the great centers across the world. The Canadian government commissioned a study and identified that there would be a shortage of approximately 220,000 technology workers by 2020. And in a time when there's so much polarization in the world and a lot of countries are closing their doors, Canada said, wait a minute, tech is booming. Why don't we open our doors and bring the world's best minds here? In Pakistan, I started off as a software engineer. I was probably uh, the first female to be a senior engineer in a 200 engineering team. So I knew I was at a good place, but I was also feeling weird that what after it? When Global Skills email came in, they connected with me with a company. I got an interview, but what next? Candidates need to know that these companies that they're coming to be partnered with are actually reputable companies and, and they're going to match the type of you know, opportunity that they're looking for. 45 documents almost were included to get my work permit. I couldn't have done that. When Global Skills Hub jumped in, they knew how to handle it. They were very professional in all of the procedures. Traditionally, it could take months or even years to bring a skilled worker to Canada. Anyone who's ever gone through it never wants to go through it again. But with the Global Skills Express Visa program, it's a two-week expedited process instead of six to nine months. As a candidate, arriving and settling in a new city in a new country can be pretty daunting. But it's an amazing day when the candidate arrives for the first time in Canada. We've been, we were waiting for you from over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I finally made it, it was like unbelievable. Hi, I'm Erica. Nice to meet you. One of the major, major, major differences is TWG really cares about the work-life balance. A lot of people TWG ask me the similar question. Are you comfortable? Are we providing you enough to make your life at work and your personal life better? It's not like we expect you to blend in in one day and put, you know, be a Canadian in one day. We don't expect you to. But if you need anything, let us know. That's how it felt like. TWG is a great example of a company that works well with Global Skills Hub. They're building a diverse team and they know there are great people from around the world who can help them do that. We want to make a commitment to them that when they come over, that we give them everything they need to feel that we set them up for success. We work hard to help them integrate their lives, both with their teammates at work, but also within their community. Hello. How are you? What did you cook today? So what did you eat? No, I, I, I have this roast under construction. Let's see if it goes right. When you come to a new place, you always seem like everybody is noticing you. At times, when I came over here, I was very embarrassed. When you are completely alone and starting from scratch, you feel like alien at times. To be very honest, in the start, I feel like crying and screaming that I'm not being expressive, you know, like you're not being yourself. 
what if I don't understand? What if they train too quick or too slow? You know, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I had hundreds of questions in my mind. Which team? Which technology? What is gonna be? How I'm gonna work? Then in my language, Urdu, two people talked to me. That was the first day, and I'm like, things are different, you know. <laughs> they talk to me in my language. It's very important, you know. First question that people ask you. It's like where are you from? But I can also ask in the back, where are you from? Because everybody is from somewhere. They have something to add to my knowledge. You don't feel alone. It's like equal. Slowly everything settles down. That's what I learned. The great companies going forward are going to be the ones that, as they recruit more and more global talent, they're actually creating this global talent community. Everybody comes from different places. Everybody has a different story. We need to have that exist within the walls. That looks like exactly what's outside the walls. The moment I actually shifted to my own place, things totally changed. For the first time in one and a half months, my bags opened. I could see what stuff I had. That changes you, you know? The life starts with a home. If you really believe in having a collective whole, you have to think holistically and big picture and be open to everyone's background and beliefs. And I, and I believe that from a human perspective, from how you build your family, how you treat your colleagues and, and how you build products. It's, they all have to align together. After a while, you don't like travel with your heads up watching all the Toronto buildings because I'm not a tourist over here. I am accepting Canada as a home now. So for home, it's important to do stuff which you are also comfortable in. I felt like I finally have a life, you know. The, the, these are little things, but they kind of matter a lot.